Oh, that's a belter of a day here at Stowhill, and here comes a belter of a boat. She's called James Henry, she's 60 feet long, traditional stern narrowboat built in the year 2000 by Stowhill Marine. That's here, the workshop opposite, and she's actually lived here since she was built. She's been in the same hands since the year 2000, but she is so well kept. Somebody actually just passed on a boat and asked me if she was a brand new boat. She did have a full repaint in 2018, but it still looks like it was done yesterday. She was blacked this year in April. Engine was serviced in April. Six anodes on her. They were satisfactory at blacking. The owners have just done everything that's ever been needed on her. No expense spared. And it is quite an emotional sale, to be honest. But they've had her for 20, 23 years and loved her to bits, and it shows. Good quality cratch cover there. Gas bottles are in the forward locker. Two six kilo bottles with a changeover valve. Well deck's a nice size actually, five foot two. Go on and have a look. There's the Commodore. The water tank's under here. That was um, fully repainted in, oh it's 2019 actually the repaint, not 18. That was fully repainted inside the uh, water tank at the same time. This table lifts up to offer a seat. There is a storage locker under there as well. Glazed front doors. And then we go. The saloon and Danette area is 10 feet 7 long. It's really cosy in here. There's a Houdini hatch. Head height uh, is 6 foot 3. There is a storm cover for that Houdini hatch. This L-shaped couch has storage underneath it and turns into a spare double berth. The stove is a village of puffin. Drawer underneath. <laughs> having a look in there. Storage under here. Yeah. Smell those crocs. There's a view into the well deck. There's a storage cupboard here that has a TV aerial point. Lots of shells under the gunnels on this boat. And this is quite clever. It's just a fold down table. There are brackets underneath it that hold it up, so it's good for working at or board games or computers, but there is an extension there, so you can also dine at it. And there are a couple of collapsible chairs on board, so you could comfortably seat four or five for dining, I guess. Little shelf in the corner there. That's the view down the uh, saloon area. In between the saloon and the galley is this it's really useful cupboard. A couple of collapsible tables there for the well deck. There are also perspex screens for all of the side hatches on this boat, and there are four of those. Shelving cupboards here. The floor, by the way, is solid pine throughout the boat. The galley is seven feet seven, side hatches either side, both with per perspex screens. It's a Vanette four burner gas hob, grill, and the ovens underneath that, super clean. Draw and good sized cupboards under the sink here. Need to give the lens a clean, don't I? Sorry about that. And then over here, cupboard, cupboard, microwave, and cupboard. So plenty of storage in the galley. Everything you need. Nice and light and airy with these side hatches either side. All shelves, worth pointing out, the shelves go most of the way down the rest of the boat. The bedroom's next. The bed is six foot two by four feet. Reading lights over. Storage under. And at the foot of the bed, there's a one, two, three, four, five drawer chest of drawers. There are still a few bits and pieces, personal effects on the boat, but they'll be going this weekend, Friday, I think. That sink is ceramic. That's set over a cupboard. Lovely taps on that, actually. It's a really beautiful sink. The loo itself is a Jabsco pump-out loo. That was new two years ago. 360-litre holding tank. Mirrored cupboard doors. 
And on the other side is a hip bath with shower over. Tile down the outside above the bath there. A couple of rails on the back of the door for towels and things. They're the collapsible chairs I mentioned. I'm calling this the utility room. Side hatches either side again. Could make a nice little office area. There's a half height wardrobe here with a mirror on the inside of the door. And under here, that's what I'm calling it the utility really. That's a tumble dryer. Just opens by pushing that latch and there's the tumbly bit. On the other side, yeah, you guessed it, that's the washing machine. It's a candy aquamatic and the tumble dryer was Zanussi. Into the stern cabin, very traditional in here. Traditional paintwork. The wood's all so solid. Cupboard in there. No, it's not there. There is a Francis tunnel light on board. It's absolutely beautiful. That is staying with the boat. This drops down into a cross bed, so the boat sleeps six. And over here is your drop down table. Quite good to sit on the couch opposite and use a laptop or whatever. About an inch and a half thick that would I reckon. And there's a Boatman's solid fuel range. That'll keep this end of the boat nice and toasty. The engine's in here. It's a Beta Marine BV1903. That was completely rebuilt in 2018. It's only done 2,700 hours since new, actually, which isn't a lot for a boat of this age. PRM 150 gearbox. And here are the controls. They're the controls for the hydraulic bow thruster. They're great hydraulic bow thrusters. You can just sit on them all day if you want. There's the view from the helm. It's a 24 volt boat. There are 610 amp hour leisure batteries that power the domestic side of things and one starter. They were all new two years ago. All the lighting is 24 volt LED. There is a Victron Phoenix 1800 watt inverter on board, inverter charger. There's a landline galvanic isolator. Central heating is an Eberspacher diesel fired central heating system and the hot water is done by the Eberspacher, an immersion heater or the engine. Glorious boat, so cosy. She's got all of the navigation equipment, including an anchor, rope, and chain. I shall reluctantly get off. So that's James Henry. Beautiful boat. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour spec, and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.